Lesson 1, Unraveling Mysteries Hi Anna, have you ever come across a book or story that left you wondering about its meaning? Hi John, yes, sometimes I encounter texts that require a bit of interpretation to fully grasp their message. It can be intriguing when the meaning is not immediately apparent. Absolutely. It challenges us to think critically and engage with the material on a deeper level. Sometimes, the author intentionally leaves certain aspects open to interpretation, allowing readers to draw their own conclusions. That's true. It gives us the opportunity to explore different perspectives and form our own understanding. It can be exciting to discuss our interpretations with others who have read the same book. Yes, exchanging ideas and hearing different viewpoints enhances our appreciation for the story. And even if we can't fully decipher the meaning, the journey of trying to figure it out can be rewarding in itself. Exactly. The process of grappling with the text helps us develop our critical thinking skills. Once we finish reading, it's interesting to reflect on the story and its possible implications. It allows us to delve deeper into the themes and messages conveyed by the author. And before we put the book down for the night, it's a lovely tradition to say goodnight to everyone in the house. It's a warm gesture that promotes a sense of closeness and connection with our loved ones. Absolutely. It's a small but meaningful way to end the day on a positive note. Lesson 2. Exploring the Arts Hi Anna, have you ever delved into the arts and entertainment section of a newspaper? Hi John, yes, I find it fascinating to explore the diverse world of arts and entertainment. It's a rich source of information about the latest movies, music, theater, and more. Absolutely. The arts have a way of capturing our imagination and stirring our emotions. The arts can transport us to different worlds and offer a form of escapism. Yes, whether it's a gripping film or a captivating theater performance, the arts have a way of captivating us. And the arts and entertainment section provides us with reviews and recommendations. It helps us discover new artists, shows, and events that we might be interested in. It's exciting to read about upcoming concerts, exhibitions, and festivals. It gives us a chance to plan our outings and immerse ourselves in cultural experiences. The arts have a way of bringing people together and fostering a sense of community. Absolutely. Attending concerts or gallery openings allows us to connect with others who share similar interests. It's also an opportunity to support and appreciate the talent and creativity of artists. Yes, through the arts, we can gain new perspectives and broaden our horizons. Thank you for discussing the arts and entertainment. It's a reminder of the importance of creativity in our lives. Lesson 3, Driving Towards the Future Hi Anna, have you ever thought about the evolution of cars and the rise of electric vehicles? 
Hi John, yes, it's fascinating how technology and innovation have transformed the automotive industry. Definitely. There have been countless inventors striving to create cars that surpass their predecessors. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of efficiency and sustainability. Some people believe that electric cars would be the future of transportation. Yes, electric vehicles offer the potential for reduced emissions and a greener way of getting around. It's remarkable how electric cars have become more prominent in recent years. The advancements in battery technology have made them more practical and accessible. Electric cars also have the benefit of being quieter and requiring less maintenance. And with the increasing number of charging stations, the infrastructure to support electric vehicles is growing. It's exciting to think about the future possibilities and the positive impact electric cars can have on the environment. Absolutely. It's a step towards a more sustainable and eco-friendly future. Thank you for discussing electric cars. It's inspiring to see how technology continues to shape our world. Lesson 4, Mastering Voicemail Hi Anna, have you ever used voicemail to leave important messages for someone? Hi John, yes, voicemail can be a convenient way to communicate when someone is unavailable. Did you know that you can designate your message to appear at the top of the recipient's voicemail list? Really? That's a helpful feature, especially for urgent or time-sensitive messages. Yes, it ensures that your message gets immediate attention when the person checks their voicemail. That can be crucial when there's important information that needs to be conveyed. Additionally, you can program your voicemail to allow the recipient to skip directly to your message. That saves time and makes it easier for the person to access and listen to your message. It's a useful option, especially if you often leave lengthy voicemails. Absolutely. It streamlines the process and makes it more efficient. Voicemail is a valuable tool for leaving clear and concise messages. It's important to be mindful of the content and tone of our voicemails, as they can leave a lasting impression. Indeed. Being polite, speaking clearly, and leaving relevant information can make a difference. And if we're unsure whether our message was received, it's always a good idea to follow up with a call or alternative means of communication. Thank you for discussing voicemail. It's a reminder of the importance of effective communication. Lesson 5, Parliamentary Proceedings Hi Anna, have you ever followed the proceedings of the House of Representatives? Hi John, yes, I find the legislative process and debates quite intriguing. It's interesting to see how laws are proposed, discussed, and ultimately passed. Absolutely. The House of Representatives plays a crucial role in shaping the country's policies. Sometimes, the administration suggests certain measures to the Speaker of the House. 
Yes, it's done in the public interest to address important issues and propose necessary changes. The Speaker then decides whether to bring these suggestions before the House. That decision can influence the legislative agenda and the topics that are debated. It's fascinating to witness the passionate exchanges and arguments during these debates. Indeed. Members of the House present their views, challenge each other, and work towards consensus. The role of the House of Representatives is to represent the interests and concerns of the people. Through their discussions and votes, they shape the laws that impact our daily lives. It's important for citizens to be aware of these proceedings and the decisions that are being made. Understanding the legislative process empowers us to participate in democracy and voice our opinions. Thank you for discussing the House of Representatives. It's a reminder of the importance of civic engagement. Lesson 6, Unpredictable Weather Hi Anna, have you ever noticed how unpredictable the weather can be? Hi John, yes, it's fascinating how the weather can change unexpectedly. Indeed. It seems like nothing is very exact when it comes to predicting the weather. The weather department does a lot of research, but they can never be sure of what will happen. It's interesting how they use various tools and technologies to make forecasts. Yes, they analyze data from satellites, weather stations, and computer models. Despite all the advancements, there is still a margin of uncertainty in weather predictions. That's true. Nature has its own way of surprising us. It's important to stay prepared for different weather conditions, especially during extreme seasons. Absolutely. Having appropriate clothing and being aware of potential weather changes is essential. Sometimes, unexpected weather can disrupt plans or impact outdoor activities. Flexibility is key when dealing with unpredictable weather patterns. It's always a good idea to check the weather forecast before making any outdoor plans. And it's also helpful to keep an eye on the sky and look for any signs of impending changes. Thank you for discussing the unpredictable weather. It's a reminder to be adaptable and prepared. Lesson 7, Lessons from History Hi Anna, have you ever reflected on the consequences of war throughout history? Hi John, yes, it's sobering to think about the impact of conflicts on nations and individuals. Indeed. Many people realized that their eagerness to fight against other countries had led them into a great tragedy. Wars have caused immense loss of life and destruction, leaving lasting scars on societies. It's important to learn from history and strive for peaceful resolutions to conflicts. Absolutely. Diplomacy and dialogue can often prevent the escalation of tensions. It's crucial for leaders to consider the human cost of war before resorting to armed conflicts. 
War should always be the last resort, and efforts should be made to find common ground. The aftermath of war also highlights the importance of reconciliation and rebuilding. Communities and nations need to come together to heal and move forward after the devastation. By studying history, we can gain valuable insights and work towards a more peaceful future. Understanding the mistakes of the past can guide us in making better decisions in the present. Thank you for discussing the lessons from history. It's a reminder of the importance of peace and diplomacy. Lesson 8, Rivalries and Growth Hi Anna, have you heard about the intense college rivalries in sports? Hi John, yes, college rivalries can be quite passionate and exciting. During his college years, he developed a rivalry with another future NBA superstar. That must have been an incredible matchup to witness. Their competitive spirit pushed them to excel and brought out the best in each other. Rivalries can be motivating and help individuals reach new heights in their abilities. It's interesting how these rivalries often continue when players enter professional leagues. The intensity and history of their college matchups can carry over to their professional careers. Rivalries can also unite fans and create a sense of camaraderie and team spirit. Absolutely. Passionate supporters add to the excitement of the games. However, it's important to remember that rivalry should remain respectful and sportsmanlike. Sportsmanship should always be prioritized over animosity. Rivalries can be a catalyst for personal growth and drive individuals to push their limits. They teach us the value of perseverance, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence. Thank you for discussing college rivalries. It's a reminder of the power of healthy competition. Lesson 9, Inventive Minds Hi Anna, have you ever wondered about the inventors who revolutionized communication? Hi John, yes, it's fascinating to learn about the devices and methods that paved the way for modern communication. Ball soon developed a method for sending more than one telegraph message at the same time while working on improving the telegraph. That must have been a significant breakthrough in the field of telecommunications. It's incredible how inventors like Balsoon pushed the boundaries of what was possible. Innovation often comes from a desire to make things better or more efficient. Absolutely. These inventors had a vision and were determined to find solutions to existing challenges. Their inventions not only changed the way people communicate, but also shaped the course of history. It's remarkable how a single invention can have such a profound impact on society. The telegraph paved the way for future advancements in long-distance communication. It laid the foundation for the development of technologies like the telephone and the internet. It's inspiring to think about how one idea can spark a chain of innovations. 
These inventors remind us of the power of human ingenuity and the potential for progress. They encourage us to think creatively and explore new possibilities. Thank you for discussing the telegraph and innovation. It's a reminder of the remarkable achievements of inventors throughout history. Lesson 10, Yard Sale Treasures Hi Anna, have you ever explored the world of yard sales and the treasures they hold? Hi John, yes, yard sales can be a great way to find unique items at affordable prices. Homeowners take out all the stuff they don't want and arrange it in front of their house. Usually, they put a price tag on items. It's like a treasure hunt, where you never know what you might come across. Some people enjoy the thrill of finding hidden gems amidst the piles of items. It's amazing how one person's unwanted item can be another person's valuable find. Bargaining is also part of the fun. You can negotiate prices and get a good deal. It's a great opportunity to practice your negotiation skills and interact with different people. Yard sales can also be a social event where neighbors come together and browse through the items. It's a chance to connect with the community and discover shared interests. Additionally, hosting a yard sale allows homeowners to declutter and make some extra money. It's a win-win situation. Homeowners get to clear out their unwanted items, and buyers get affordable fines. Some people even collect specific items from yard sales, like vintage toys or antique furniture. Yard sales provide a glimpse into people's lives and the stories behind the items they're selling. Thank you for discussing the art of yard sales. It's a reminder of the hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. Lesson 11, Authenticity Matters Hi Anna, have you ever felt morally ill because we became used to saying something different from what we thought? Hi John, yes, it can be challenging when we find ourselves compromising our authenticity. We learn not to believe in anything to avoid disappointment, but it's important to stay true to ourselves. It's crucial to listen to our inner voice and align our actions with our values. When we suppress our true thoughts and feelings, it can lead to a sense of moral discomfort. Authenticity allows us to live in alignment with our core beliefs and find genuine happiness. It's not always easy as societal pressures and expectations can influence our behavior. True strength lies in being comfortable with who we are, even if it goes against the norm. Embracing our authentic selves can lead to more meaningful relationships and personal fulfillment. It's liberating to express our true opinions and live a life that reflects our genuine values. Honesty and authenticity create a solid foundation for personal growth and self-discovery. When we are true to ourselves, we attract people and opportunities that align with our authentic selves. Thank you for discussing the importance of authenticity. It's a reminder to stay true to who we are. Lesson 12, Success and Integrity 
Hi Anna, have you ever noticed that no man or woman came into this administration and left it with more of this world's goods than when he came in? Hi John, yes, it's interesting to reflect on the relationship between success and integrity. It's a powerful statement that emphasizes the importance of maintaining integrity in all aspects of life. True success goes beyond financial wealth and includes the integrity we carry with us. When we prioritize honesty, ethics, and fairness, we build a foundation for sustainable success. It's not about accumulating wealth at any cost, but rather about creating value in a way that aligns with our principles. Success built on integrity brings a sense of fulfillment and leaves a positive impact on others. It's inspiring to see individuals who have achieved great success while remaining true to their values. They serve as role models, showing us that it's possible to thrive without compromising our integrity. Integrity attracts trust, which is essential in building lasting relationships and opportunities. When we act with integrity, we create a ripple effect that extends beyond our personal success. It's a reminder to prioritize character and integrity in every decision we make. Thank you for discussing success and integrity. It's a powerful lesson on the importance of maintaining our values. Lesson 13, Empowering Small Businesses. Hi Anna, have you noticed how small businesses are often desperate for the capital and contracts they need to prove their worth? Hi John, yes, it's unfortunate that many small businesses face challenges in getting the recognition and opportunities they deserve. They often struggle to compete with larger corporations that have more resources and established networks. It's crucial to support and empower underrepresented entrepreneurs who bring diversity and innovation to the market. Small businesses play a significant role in job creation and economic growth. They contribute to the vibrancy of communities and provide unique products and services. We must advocate for policies that level the playing field and provide equal opportunities for small businesses. By doing so, we can help bridge the gap and create a more inclusive business environment. It's important to recognize the valuable contributions of minority-owned businesses and provide them with the support they need. We speak for the minorities who have not always had an equal voice in the business world. By supporting small businesses, we empower individuals to pursue their dreams and make a positive impact. It's a reminder that every purchase we make can be a vote for the kind of world we want to live in. Thank you for discussing the importance of empowering small businesses. It's a call to action for a more inclusive economy. Lesson 14, The Quest for Knowledge Hi Anna, there are so many questions that are unanswered. I think I should go to the library and get a book to find out why people grow. Hi John, that's a great idea. Books are a treasure trove of knowledge and can provide answers to our burning questions. Absolutely. They hold the wisdom of generations and offer insights into various subjects. 
Libraries are like portals to different worlds, where we can explore and expand our understanding. I love the feeling of getting lost in a book and discovering new perspectives. Books have the power to ignite our curiosity and fuel our desire for lifelong learning. They provide a sense of connection to the past, present, and future. And the best part is that books are accessible to everyone, regardless of their background or circumstances. There's something magical about holding a physical book and flipping through its pages. It's a tangible experience that allows us to immerse ourselves in the author's words. Reading books can also enhance our language skills and vocabulary. It broadens our horizons and helps us develop critical thinking and empathy. I'm excited to visit the library and embark on a journey of knowledge. Enjoy your time there. I'm sure you'll find the answers you seek. Thank you. Let's continue to embrace the power of books and the joy of learning. Lesson 15, Nuptial Nerves. Hi Anna, the couple, which will make them man and wife, the bride and groom, smile at each other, but they seem to be a little bit nervous. Hi John, getting married is indeed a beautiful and transformative moment in one's life. It's a celebration of love and the beginning of a new chapter together. But it's completely normal to feel a mix of joy and nervousness on such an important day. The anticipation and the weight of the commitment can create butterflies in the stomach. The couple may be thinking about the vows they'll exchange and the promises they'll make. They want everything to go perfectly, and the pressure can add to their nervousness. It's essential to remember that a wedding is about more than just the ceremony. It's a celebration of the love and connection between two individuals and their families. The nerves often fade away once the couple sees each other at the altar and realizes the significance of the moment. The support and presence of loved ones can provide comfort and reassurance. And as the day unfolds, the couple can focus on the joyous celebration of their union. It's a day filled with laughter, tears of happiness, and the creation of beautiful memories. The nervousness is a natural part of the process, a sign of how much the couple values this commitment. So, let's celebrate the love and courage of those embarking on this wonderful journey together. Absolutely. May their wedding day be filled with love, happiness, and cherished moments. Here's to the bride and groom, and to the beautiful adventure they're about to embark upon. Lesson 16, The Nike Story Hi Anna, have you ever wondered about the inspiration behind Nike and its corporate direction? Hi John, absolutely. Nike is an iconic brand known for its innovation and association with athletics. Did you know that Nike's origins can be traced back to a competent, although not elite, middle distance runner at the University of Oregon? That's fascinating. It's incredible how a passion for sports can lead to the creation of a global brand. His name was Phil Knight, 
and he had a vision to bring high-quality athletic footwear to the market. Phil Knight teamed up with his coach, Bill Bowerman, and together they laid the foundation for what would become Nike. They started by importing sneakers from Japan and selling them out of the trunk of their cars. It's inspiring to see how their dedication and entrepreneurial spirit propelled Nike to where it is today. Nike's focus on innovation and performance has made it a leader in the sports industry. Their iconic, just do it slogan has become synonymous with motivation and pushing one's limits. Nike's partnerships with top athletes and their commitment to social causes have also shaped their corporate direction. They've created a brand that not only celebrates athleticism, but also stands for inclusivity and empowerment. Nike's success story reminds us that passion, determination, and a clear vision can lead to remarkable achievements. It's a testament to the power of sports and the impact it can have on individuals and society. So, let's lace up our sneakers and draw inspiration from Nike's journey as we strive for our own goals. Absolutely. Let's embrace the spirit of Nike and continue to push ourselves to new heights. Here's to finding our own paths, just like Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman did all those years ago. Lesson 17, Media Influence on Children Hi Anna, psychologists have conducted some research studies on the effects of violent television. Hi John, that's an interesting topic. Television has a significant presence in children's lives. Yes, it does. Some studies have shown that children who are exposed to violent television may display more aggressive behavior. That's concerning. It highlights the importance of understanding the influence of media on young minds. Absolutely. It's crucial for parents and caregivers to be mindful of the content children consume. Creating a balanced media diet and fostering critical thinking skills can help mitigate any negative effects. Parents can engage in open conversations with their children about what they watch and help them interpret and understand the content. Teaching children media literacy can empower them to make informed choices and be more discerning viewers. It's also essential for media creators to take responsibility and produce age-appropriate and positive content for children. Absolutely. Media has the power to educate, inspire, and shape values. By promoting positive messages and values through television, we can have a more beneficial impact on children's development. Let's strive to create a media environment that nurtures children's growth, imagination, and empathy. Together, we can ensure that children have access to media that enriches their lives and promotes healthy development. Let's empower children to be critical consumers of media and encourage them to seek out positive and educational content. Here's to fostering a media landscape that nurtures young minds and helps them thrive. Lesson 18, Banff National Park. Hi Anna, have you ever been to the heart of the magnificent Canadian Rockies? Hi John, you must be talking about Banff National Park. 
It's a stunning destination. Absolutely. Each year, millions of visitors come to Banff to marvel at the emerald waters of its lakes. The beauty of the mountains and the tranquility of the surroundings make it a nature lover's paradise. It's incredible how Banff offers a range of outdoor activities for all seasons. From hiking and camping in the summer to skiing and snowboarding in the winter, there's something for everyone. And let's not forget about the wildlife. Banff is home to various species, including bears, elk, and mountain goats. It's important to remember to respect and observe wildlife from a safe distance to ensure their well-being. Absolutely. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect the natural wonders of Banff National Park. The park's pristine landscapes and breathtaking scenery inspire awe and remind us of the importance of preserving our environment. Exploring Banff is like stepping into a postcard. The views are simply awe-inspiring. And don't forget about the charming town of Banff itself, with its cozy shops and restaurants. It's the perfect place to unwind after a day of adventuring in the mountains. Lesson 19, Global Athlete Migration. Hi Anna, have you noticed how immigration and the movement of athletes have become significant themes in the sports world? Hi John, absolutely. Professional and elite amateur athletes are increasingly attracted to opportunities in other countries. It's fascinating how athletes are willing to relocate to pursue their dreams and compete at the highest level. Yes, they often seek better training facilities, coaching, or the chance to compete against top competition. The global nature of sports allows athletes to transcend borders and represent different nations. Absolutely. We see athletes of diverse backgrounds coming together to compete and inspire us all. This movement of sporting talent enriches the sports landscape and promotes cultural exchange. It's incredible how athletes can become ambassadors for their countries and bring people together through their achievements. And let's not forget the positive impact athletes can have on local communities and economies. That's true. They can inspire young athletes and contribute to the growth of sports infrastructure. However, it's important to recognize the challenges athletes face when adapting to new cultures and environments. Yes, language barriers, cultural differences, and being far from home can present significant hurdles. Organizations and communities should strive to provide support and resources to help athletes navigate these transitions. True. Embracing diversity and fostering inclusion in sports can create a more vibrant and united global community. Let's raise our imaginary global flags and celebrate the movement of athletes across borders. Lesson 20, Overcoming Challenges. Hi Anna, have you heard about Marilyn's story? It's quite inspiring. Hi John, no, I haven't. What happened to Marilyn? 
Well, Marilyn faced a difficult situation while pursuing her dream of becoming a professional swimmer. What happened? It must have been challenging for her. Indeed, during a competition, Marilyn's family and the lifeguards felt she should be taken out of the water due to exhaustion. That sounds concerning. What did Marilyn do? Despite the concerns, her coach threatened to quit if they pulled her out. Marilyn faced a tough decision. That's a tough spot to be in. What did she ultimately choose to do? Marilyn chose to trust her own instincts and continue swimming, pushing through the exhaustion. That takes a lot of courage and determination. How did it turn out for her? Surprisingly, Marilyn found a hidden reserve of strength and ended up winning the competition. Wow, that's truly incredible. It shows the power of perseverance and believing in oneself. Absolutely. Marilyn's story teaches us that even in the face of challenges, we can find the strength to overcome. It's a reminder that sometimes we have to take risks and trust ourselves, even when others doubt us. Marilyn's journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the rewards that come with daring to pursue our dreams. Her story inspires us to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and to never give up on what we believe in. Let's raise our imaginary medals and celebrate Marilyn's triumph and the courage she displayed. Lesson 21, Church Traditions Hi Anna, have you ever wondered why most people choose to get married in a church? Hi John, yes, it's interesting how church weddings hold such significance for many couples. Absolutely. Getting married in a church often symbolizes a commitment made before a higher power. It's a way for couples to seek blessings and incorporate religious traditions into their special day. Church weddings also provide a sense of community as family and friends gather to witness the union. That's true. The church setting adds a sacred atmosphere and a sense of solemnity to the ceremony. And speaking of churches, did you know that church services are usually held on Sundays? Yes, Sunday is traditionally seen as the day of worship and rest in many Christian denominations. It's a time for believers to come together, participate in prayers, receive teachings, and find spiritual nourishment. Church services offer a sense of belonging and provide opportunities for fellowship and spiritual growth. Absolutely. They can be a source of inspiration and a way for individuals to connect with their faith community. On a different note, have you ever wondered why many people choose to have a church service before a burial? Yes, funerals and memorial services held in churches provide a space for loved ones to gather and pay their respects. They offer solace, support, and a place for collective mourning as people come together to honor the deceased. Church services before burials often include prayers, readings, and eulogies to celebrate the life of the departed. They provide a sense of closure and comfort to those grieving the loss of a loved one.
Church traditions play a significant role in marking important milestones and providing a sense of spiritual connection. They bring communities together and create opportunities for individuals to express their faith and find support. Let's raise our imaginary hymn books and celebrate the rich traditions and sense of community found in church life. Lesson 22, Rediscovering London Skyline Hi Anna, have you ever wondered what London's skyline looked like before the last war? Hi John, yes, it's hard to imagine how beautiful it must have been. Absolutely. London must have had one of the most stunning skylines among great cities. It's fascinating to think about the architectural marvels that once adorned the city. The grand buildings and historical landmarks must have created a majestic panorama. Can you imagine the intricate details and craftsmanship that went into those structures? It must have been awe-inspiring to see the blend of old and new architectural styles. The cityscape would have been a testament to London's rich history and cultural heritage. Sadly, the ravages of war took their toll, forever altering the skyline we see today. It's a reminder of the devastating impact of conflict on our built environment. Despite the losses, London's skyline still holds its own unique charm and iconic landmarks. Absolutely. The city has undergone a remarkable transformation and continues to evolve. Today, modern skyscrapers stand alongside historic buildings, creating a dynamic contrast. It's a testament to London's resilience and its ability to adapt to changing times. The blend of old and new architecture creates a captivating tapestry that tells the story of the city. Exploring London's skyline is like embarking on a journey through time and witnessing its evolution. Let's raise our imaginary binoculars and appreciate the beauty of London's skyline, past and present. Lesson 23, Perspectives on Courage Hi Anna, have you ever come across the perspective that a manly death is preferable to hiding? Hi John, yes, I've heard that viewpoint before. It suggests that facing death bravely is more honorable. It's an interesting concept, but I believe courage can be found in various forms, not just in facing death. I agree. True courage can be exhibited in different ways, depending on the circumstances. Absolutely. Sometimes, it takes great strength to persevere and overcome challenges instead of giving up. There's also courage in speaking up for what is right, even in the face of opposition or criticism. Definitely. The letter writer you mentioned, who points out the value of hiding, highlights another perspective. Yes, sometimes choosing to protect oneself or others by hiding can be an act of courage and selflessness. It's important to remember that courage isn't limited to one particular action or scenario. Exactly. Each person's journey and circumstances are unique, and courage can manifest in different ways. 
So, instead of judging someone's courage based on societal expectations, we should appreciate their individual choices. Absolutely. It's essential to respect and celebrate the diverse expressions of courage we encounter. Let's raise our imaginary flags of understanding and embrace the multifaceted nature of courage. Lesson 24, The Essence of Friendship Hi Anna, have you ever thought about what makes a good friend? Hi John, yes, I believe communication is one of the most important aspects of friendship. Absolutely. The ability to openly and honestly communicate strengthens the bond between friends. A good friend is someone who takes the time to listen and understand your thoughts and feelings. It's true. By actively listening, friends show empathy and provide a safe space for expression. Friendships flourish when there's a genuine exchange of thoughts, ideas, and experiences. And it's not just about talking, but also about being able to share silence comfortably. Yes, the companionship of a true friend can be felt even in moments of quiet reflection. A good friend supports you through both joyful and challenging times. They offer encouragement, lend a helping hand, and provide a shoulder to lean on. Friendships are built on trust, honesty, and mutual respect. It's important to be able to rely on each other and maintain confidentiality. Absolutely. Trust forms the foundation of deep and lasting friendships. In addition to communication and trust, shared interests and values also contribute to a strong bond. Having common ground fosters understanding and creates opportunities for meaningful connections. A good friend celebrates your successes and stands by you during setbacks. They are there to share in your joys and offer support during challenging times. Let's raise our imaginary cups of friendship and appreciate the value of open communication and genuine connections. Cheers to that! May we cherish and nurture the friendships that enrich our lives. Lesson 25, Making Assumptions Hi Anna, have you ever found yourself making assumptions about someone's behavior? Hi John, yes, it's easy to jump to conclusions without knowing the full story. Absolutely. We shouldn't assume that someone is unfriendly without understanding their circumstances. You never know what others are going through or how they may be feeling. They could be dealing with personal challenges or even feeling unwell. It's important to approach situations with empathy and seek to understand rather than judge. Instead of assuming, we can ask if everything is okay or offer a kind word. Showing compassion and extending a helping hand can make a significant difference. Sometimes, a simple act of kindness can brighten someone's day and change their perspective. And by taking the time to understand their situation, we may discover unexpected reasons behind their behavior. 
Empathy allows us to connect on a deeper level and foster understanding and compassion. It's a reminder that everyone has their own struggles and challenges to navigate. Let's raise our imaginary flags of empathy and approach others with understanding and kindness.